Canva just dropped their biggest video editor update yet, and it completely changes how you create videos. Canva's new Video Editor 2.0 is a more professional level tool right inside Canva. Let me show you how to use it to create studio quality videos. And in this video, I'll be demonstrating a lot of the new features for you, step by step. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are at Canva. I'll put the link in the description below in case you need it. First thing I'll do is go ahead and go to video, which is what I'll be talking about today, all right? So come here and click on video. And once you're inside here, you'll see there's a lot of different options. There's quick actions up here for things you can jump to without having to hunt them all over the place. Before, a lot of these were really kind of varied. Also, here are the different video types. You can click on whichever one you're interested in. Today, I wanna use landscape, but you can see how easy it is to choose your aspect ratio. You can also use one of these handy templates down here too. There are thousands of them to work with, but for now, I'm gonna choose landscape, so let's click there. Now it's opened up the new video editor. This is Canva Video Editor 2.0, and if you're familiar with the old editor, this one does look different from the start, so let's kinda look at this real quick. It's a much cleaner look. Very modern, but a lot of the same features are still here. One thing I really do like is this feature here where you can change this in a second, especially if you have a lot of layers up here on the top. It makes it so much easier to see everything, so I really enjoy that. You put your media here, add your audio there, and then you'll have all your additional layers up here at the top. You also have the ability to be able to change the size of your page here. Since I don't have anything here yet, I couldn't really change this, but if I did, you would be able to change it there as well. Everything here is pretty much the same, and all your tools are over here. You can always get to those very quickly, and a lot of these now are much easier to find, so that's helpful. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to put some stuff in here to work with. You can always go to your uploads folder here and put any of this information in there if you want to, or you can just drag and drop some things. You see it automatically is added in your audio folder. You could also go here to upload your file. Just click on this, find it on your computer, and then upload it. But I just prefer to drag and drop. It's just quicker for me. Then if you click on this, you see it automatically adds it down here in the bottom in the audio area. You could also drag it down here and resize it. You could also pull it over here or change the volume of it. You can fade in, fade out, so all that's included there. And if you wanna add images, I call this the foundation layer. So this is kind of where you start building. This is the bottom layer, and then everything else above it will be seen first. There'll be a layer here, kind of like a cake. So for example, if we wanted to add an image here, I could, let me show you, I'll pull this here, I'm gonna put it down there. If you click on something, it will add it there, and sometimes you might not wanna do that, because if you're trying to lay it on top of it, then it doesn't really work that way. It'll add it here, but if you wanna add something like this, an overlay, for example, try this. Go to graphics and look for something animated like stars. So put that in there. Now you can see this is up here on another layer, right? So we could put this there and we could have it go across all of these. So that's really cool to know. And now when we're watching it, check this out. So that's how you do that. I did want to point while we're here looking through all this, anytime you see something that has a crown on it, this is a premium asset, meaning that it's included in the Canva paid plan. So if you're a free user, you can't use these. So keep that in mind. So if you're a free user, just steer clear of anything that has a crown on it, but any of these others, you know, you could use them just fine. Okay, so now if we want to go back, let's click out of here real quick. I'll go back to uploads. And now if I wanted to add some other things, for example, maybe this, I could pull it over like that and add it here. We can take things and swap them around. So you see, things are very easy to move. You can change things up very easily. You can also make them much longer. You can do it from the front or the back. So that's some of the things you can do move it anywhere you want. It's very easy to use as far as this goes. All right, so now we have some images and sounds. Let's add a video here. So I'll come over here to videos and grab this guy here and pull him over. And that way we'll have some movement too. If you need to shrink this up, you can, but since this is a video, you can't go longer because the video itself has a certain time length. I also wanted to point out that you can also take this and move it around anywhere. You can move these wherever you want them to go. It's up to you. So that's easy enough. You can still stretch this stars up here. So now when you're watching it, you'll see stars in every scene. So that's easy enough. Let me find one that's longer. Okay, like this one, this one's longer. Let's put it over here, click on it. So for example, this particular one is 10 seconds long and we didn't want the whole thing. Maybe I only like that part there. So if I wanted to cut it, basically I could put this playhead, which is what this is. Some people call it a scrubber, 
put that where you want it, and then right click on it. Now you'll see the split option. You can also type an S on your keyboard. Either way, if you did that, it would cut the video right there. So I clipped it and this part here, I can delete it and just keep exactly the part of the video that I wanted. So let's back up. Another thing I could do, since I can click on it here, I could also pull it that way and shorten it. You know, you've got other options you can use as far as like changing the length of a video. So there's a couple of things you can do. What if you wanted to add like a picture up here at the top, you know, like a picture in picture kind of thing. If you wanna do that, imagine you wanna add this little video here. So let's click on it and see what it does. Now it automatically adds it here, but that's not where I want it, right? So if I want it to be in here, what next? We can take this and we put it up here and see right now it's on a different layer. So if we're watching this video image or whatever, it's progressing, you're gonna notice it's gonna jump from this picture to this video. We can take this one right here, click on it and make it smaller. If I want a picture in picture kind of effect, right now the stars are between this layer and this layer like a star sandwich. But what I wanna do is make it all kind of feel the same. So I'll move that layer up, then scoot this back over here like that. Now watch what happens when we go from this picture and then there comes that and then it disappears. If you want to, you can come over here to animate and you use some of these styles on that particular little piece. A lot of times I would just use a simple blur, but choose your favorite. I'm gonna put a blur on it. So let's make this a little bigger so you can see it. So all these are images, right? This is a video, but this one's a picture. So I'll click on it. Now it goes to that and it's just going to come in and then fade out. And that's how you do that. You could add several of those if you wanted to. If you wanted to have one come in here, one come in here, one come up here, one, you could do that. But now you see how it's done. That's how you add those kind of pictures and pictures. You can also have it fill the whole page if you just wanted to cover up the whole page for part of the scene. That's how to do it. So let's take this back for a second to make it easier to work. So I'll come here and shrink this down a little bit. There, if we wanted to, we can go back here and if we wanted this to cover the whole side of the page, maybe something like that, but you know how to do, it's up to you, it's your video. So let's watch it. And now he's pointing at the crystal. So that's something cool that you can do. If we come in between the two pages and hover over this crack right between the two, you'll see at the bottom it says add transition. Or if you choose the top icon, you can add media. Let's look at that real quick. Now you can add a blank page, stock photos, videos, or something from your upload folder. So that's a nice new option. If you want a transition, click on that and you have all these to choose from. I think I'm going to use a simple dissolve. You can also choose to have it added between all your pages at one time, which is a huge time saver. So let's shrink these down a little. I'll pull this over and catch watch for a second. This one has sound, this has the video, we've got an image and another video with a picture in picture. So that's how you do that. You can always click up here to watch a preview. Just pull your playhead back to wherever it is you wanna start at and hit play. Here's another cool feature I don't think a lot of people know about. This particular stock video has sound and when you play it, you can hear the bird actually singing. So if you want to use the video, but you don't want the sound, what do you do? Basically, I'll click on this video or right up here, then scroll this down a little bit and mute it all the way. There's also a few options over here. You can change your video speed and more. Another thing you can add is text. So if you wanna to go to text, now you can choose from any of these here. We can't really use captions yet, but we can in the future, but you've got these font combos that you can use if you want. You can change the color, add some effects to it. We can also ungroup it and change the font to something else. You can resize it, spread it apart, etc. There we go. But now after watching it, I realize that this is gonna be there the whole video. If you only wanna be there just for part of the video, do this. I'll change the timing a little bit and we can also add some effects to it if you want to. So now when you're watching it, check this out. There's my video and here comes the words. And once it gets here to the end, it'll fade out. So that's another effect you can add here if you wanted to. Another thing I wanted to point out to you real quick is that if you didn't like the color of something, you can adjust it. Go to edit, click on adjust here and change things. You can experiment with all this.
I'm about to share another new thing that you can now do in here that you couldn't do before in the old editor. I also showed this in another video. I'm gonna come over here, go back to elements, and you'll notice right here, there is a new thing that you can do. You can now generate images, code, or video. So I'll choose video. I will show you one thing also. See this little thing right here? Now you can chat to talk to Canvas AI. Click here and then talk to actually have it type in what you wanna say, which is really nice. So I'll choose generate video and describe what I want. I'll put my prompt right up here, then click submit. So remember, I've got chosen video. Now this is a premium feature, so you have to have a pro plan in order to use this. So now it's finished. That took about 45 seconds or so, so let's watch it. So you see it's added it right up here. You could basically put it anywhere you want, but for now I'll just leave it right there. But if you don't get, just redo it. But this shows you that you can make AI videos now, assuming you have a pro account. And if you click right here, you can see also, you can regenerate it if you wanted to. So I'll lengthen this so the stars will match the rest and add a transition to keep it all together. There we go, it's all done. So once you've checked in, everything's right. You can always share it. You click here, go to download, just make sure MP4 is chosen and then hit download and you're done. So I hope this little walkthrough has kind of showed you some of the different things you can do. Come in here and experiment. If you need to, you can always change back to the old video editor. Watch my other video where I show how to do that. And if you love finding out about crazy cool AI tricks before everyone else, subscribe now so you're the first to know when new AI tools drop. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching.